Hello everyone and once again welcome to BioLine. Today's video is the next lecture on the series of molecular basis of inheritance. Okay, and the topic is about the RNA as a genetic material. So let's start the topic. Okay. Today's topic is all about when the RNA is acting as a genetic material. Okay, see in the previous videos we have seen the various experiment, the Hershey Chase experiment, the proof given by the Frederick Mischer. Okay, then we also saw the Griffith experiment which actually proved that the DNA that is deoxyribonucleic acid acts as the genetic material in many organisms. Okay, in all the organisms this is a genetic material which is actually true also see in majority of the organisms which are present on the earth in the majority of the organism the genetic material is dna that is the deoxyribonucleic acid okay and that when i'm saying that majority of organism i'm talking about all the monoras protostars fungi plant and even the animals also okay so there are many viruses also which contain dna as the genetic material okay but there is a small group of organism especially i'll say a small group of viruses which actually has rna as the genetic material okay you must be knowing that the dna has replaces the uh, it had replaced the rna for the candidate to be the genetic material but still we have some viruses okay which contain rna as a genetic material okay now this i want to make it very much sure which generally students get confused in this that not all the rna not sorry not all the viruses have rna as their genetic material okay there is only a small group of viruses which contain rna as the genetic material and majorly even the vi viruses has the even the viruses has the dna as the genetic material okay so today we'll be talking about these kind of viruses which contain rna as the genetic materials okay and what are the examples of these these include some of the phages kuch phages mein aate hain there are some plant viruses like tmv tmv stands for tobacco mosaic virus okay tobacco mosaic virus fine and then the excuse me so T, uh, tmv stands for tobacco mosaic virus and mosaic is like this mosaic virus tobacco mosaic virus amv stands for alpha 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 uh sorry just a minute let me write it clearly alpha alpha mosaic virus so these are the example of the plant virus which contain rna as the genetic material apart from this there are some animal viruses let's like, like the hiv the aids virus we all know about that the hepatitis c virus sars virus sars we all know that is it is the severe acute respiratory syndrome virus coronavirus which is uh, very popular in today's world okay measles virus mumps virus these all are the virus are the example of some of the virus which contain rna as their genetic materials okay now because they contain rna as their genetic material these viruses has a special name known as retrovirus okay just remember this word retrovirus so what are retroviruses these are the virus which contain rna as their genetic material they do not have they do not have dna in them okay they do not contain dna in them they just have the proteins and the rna that's why that rna is acting as the genetic material in these retroviruses and these are some of the examples okay now this retro in these the retroviruses the rna can be double stranded also and it can be single stranded also okay the rna can be single stranded or the rna can be double stranded but in most of the case of the retrovirus the rna is single stranded remember that okay so in the in these retroviruses double stranded rna can be there single stranded can be there but the single stranded one is most common or oftenly found 
Okay, let's move to the other slides. These retrovirus, they replicate via a special mechanism known as reverse transcription. Okay, this is a special mechanism which only happens in the case of the retroviruses also. Okay, and this occurs under the direction of a special enzyme which is known as reverse transcriptase or the another name for this enzyme is RNA dependent DNA polymerase okay let me tell you a little bit about that see generally we have seen that there is a dna molecule okay and from this dna molecule what happens first the rna is being produced this is the rna and then the protein are made with the help of the translation process this process is called transcription right what happened in these particular viruses they have a process known as reverse transcription that means they have rna as their genetic material and within the host they will make a dna out of their own genetic material okay that means this transcription will be in reverse direction that's why this process is called reverse transcription okay and the enzyme which is responsible for this opposite process reverse process is RNA dependent DNA polymerase which is also known as the reverse transcriptase okay remember these term and also remember that most of these viruses are the enveloped viruses okay the retrovirus may majority of them are enveloped okay and majority of them has the single stranded RNA which is single stranded and they have three special enzymes okay let me change the color here i'll make it with a, a green color okay they have three special enzyme and one of them is reverse transcriptase okay in the higher classes you will study about these things in detail and even the name of the other enzymes also okay so we'll move further now what happened here there is a virus just some nabi baat ki the tmv that is the tobacco mosaic virus okay it is a virus which has a single stranded rna and it contain only the proteins okay this particular virus has a single long rna molecule packed with a rod like structure formed by two over 2000 copies of a single protein okay that means there is a single rod shape rna like this and it is surrounded by the helical shape thousands of proteins okay these helical shaped are the proteins and the internal rod shape structure was the genetic material that is the single stranded rna okay we'll see it in the another slide this is the structure this is a schematic structure of a tobacco mosaic virus you can see these helical structures these are the proteins okay made up of thousands of unit and this rod like structure the internal rod like structure is its genetic material single stranded rna okay now see they in 1955 there was a scientist called frankel conrad and r william okay they performed some experiment within the laboratory conditions that is within the in vitro condition okay and they found out that the protein and the rna of the virus can be separated and they can be reconstituted reconstituted as a viable virus okay that means these protein you can see during the degra degradation under the laboratory condition they found that the proteins of these virus the protein coat of these virus and the rna that is the genetic material can be separated and also they can be reconstituted okay they can be again reconstituted to make a viable virus a infectious or a potent virus which is able to cause the infection okay later on later on frankel conrad and along with b singer what they did they reconstitute the tmv viruses of two different strain or we can say they made a hybrid tmv okay how they were having a common type of tmv and they have a m type that is the masked strain of the tmv okay this common type was having its rna along with the protein code and let me change the color for here this is the m type which have its own dna uh, yeah 
the M type which has its own DNA along with its particular protein. So what they did, they made a hybrid of by mixing the constituent of these two different strain. Okay, what ultimately they did, they took the RNA of the common type and they mix it with the proteins of the M type. Okay, and this kind of hybrid TMV was constituted was reconstituted in their experiment okay and then they allowed this hybrid tmv to infect the tobacco leaf after infection what would have happened the new the tmv will increase its number and then okay and produce new progeny and after that what they found that the new progeny after the infection was of which type of the common type Okay, how was the progeny? It was like this. If this is the RNA of the progeny, then this the same was its protein. Okay, why? Because this RNA, this particular RNA is the genetic material. Okay, this particular RNA contains the code for the proteins which will be the constituent of these particular protein coat. Okay, and because RNA is the genetic material, then no, uh, that's why this RNA was of the common type and that's why it will code for the protein of the common type only, not of the M type. Okay, and M types was, we just, to, in this experiment, we he, they just took the protein code of the M type. Right, and that's why because the protein is not the genetic material, that's why the new progeny will not have the M type protein, they will only be having the protein of the common type. Okay, this is what is so the same thing is explained in this particular diagram. This is the C type that is the common type, I'll write here, and this is the M type of. TMV. We can see the RNA and the protein which are for, which are here after the degradation they got separated in both the cases. These are the blue and these are the pink type. So what the scientists did they just mix the strains these two strains okay how they took the RNA of the common type and the protein code of which type M type. Okay, then after that they reconstituted it and after that they got a hybrid virus. Okay, they got a hybrid TMV virus and they allow that TMV virus to infect the tobacco leaf. Okay, after that the TMV went to, after the infection when during the infection this particular TMV will increase its number and after that when we just uh, examine the type of the uh, TMV we saw that they saw that all the type of the TMV were of the common type not the M type. So what could be the reason because the RNA was from the common type that's why the RNA will code for the proteins which belong to the common type itself okay and that's why the new progeny was all of common type fine because this protein is not the genetic material that's why in the new progeny it could not be carried forward and there were no M type. Okay, see if in the reciprocal case what, what could have been done, the RNA would have been of the M type and this must this was constituted uh, with the reconstituted with the proteins of the common type. Right, in that case this was this would have been a hybrid virus. Okay, and after the infection, when we will examine the type of the new progeny which was which would uh, which will form, then all the T the new TMV would have been of the M type. Why? Because in this case, the genetic material, the RNA is of the M type, which will code for the protein of the M type. Okay, and then the new progeny will be of M type. Getting my point, everyone. This is what is mentioned here. The new viral progeny will be identical with the strains from which the RNA had been isolated. Okay. And it will not exhibit the characteristic of the strain which donated the protein. Getting my point? Because the proteins are not the genetic material. Or the RNA is a genetic material which will be forward from one generation to next generation. Okay. With this experiment, it was proved that in the case of the TMV, RNA carries the genetic information, not the protein.
okay so after that the, there was a conclusion which was made that in most of the organism dna is a genetic material but there is a group of virus which do not have the dnas and they have there in those cases rna will serve as a genetic material and that group of virus is known as the retro viruses okay and these viruses will replicate themselves with the help of reverse transcription with the help of reverse transcriptase enzyme the major enzyme that helps here okay reverse transcriptase fine everyone so if you like this video please hit the like button and do subscribe the channel also please share this video along with your friends and also please please hit the bell icon so that you can be updated with all the videos that i post okay so okay everyone thank you